I think Clarice has really declared that aesthetics is one of their main goals to be the best in. And they really have placed a lot of time and energy and money into developing the L20. I'm Dr. Steve Weiner, a facial plastic surgeon from Santa Rosa Beach, Florida. I moved to the Panhandle of Florida about 2005, and there I practice uh, only injectables as well as lasers and other devices. I was introduced to ultrasound when I went to Amsterdam and learned from my mentor, Leone Schelke, and the Cutaneous Group. And I did that in 2019. So I've been using ultrasound for about five years. I use it for pre-mapping, finding where the arteries are or aren't prior to injecting in the temples in the deep piriform area. And I also use it to look at patients beforehand that have had previous fillers to see what fillers they had and where they're placed. But I also use it a lot for complications, swelling around the eyes, lumps and bumps, pain, discomfort. And last but not least, I use it a lot for vascular occlusions where the patient is in distress because the artery has been injected with filler. I learned about the L20, actually Dr. Mark Saltzman, I think he was doing a webinar and I knew that Clarice was around, but they had the L15, which isn't as conducive to uh, facial aesthetics as the L20. And he turned me on to it, I think in 2020. I thought it was a great tool for, you know, the average injector, it wasn't too expensive, it was very easy to learn because a lot of the knobology, the changes in the controls were very similar to the iPhone. And it's on an iPad and the photos are very interchangeable with your iPhone and uh, Mac. So they make it really easy for a new user. And then obviously with the new AI, it's made it even easier for the person who has no experience. I didn't have any experience using ultrasound in 2019. And yeah, it takes a long time. In fact, I'm still learning, but the uh, Clarius kind of dumbs it down a little bit so that almost everyone can at least use it. And I do the trainings almost exclusively with Clarius. I tell them that, you know, you're not gonna be an expert by the time this day's over, but I can tell you, you'll be able to use the Clarius in your office by the time you're done. I started my Sonostatics course back in 2020 or 21, and I probably had 30 to 35 courses. I run it around every two months in different city locations, and you can see those locations on sonostatics.com. And it's a lot of didactic, you know, the science behind ultrasound, knobology, and then anatomy. You have to be good at anatomy to be good at ultrasound. And then it's a lot of visual recognition, I think, too. So I show them a lot of examples of fillers and arteries, just so it gets sort of ingrained. People look at it initially and they see grays and whites and blacks, and they don't, they don't really focus on the details. They're just kind of confused. So repeatedly showing them pictures, they end up getting it. And obviously HA is uh, our most common filler, so I show them a lot of pictures of that. Then I go through filler complications. And last but not least, I go through uh, guided injections, how to remove filler or actually even place filler using the ultrasound as your guide. And then at the end, I go through vascular occlusions and blindness associated with filler. New t is really good. It's actually very accurate, which was surprising. It's particularly good in the temple anatomy because there's 10 layers of the temple and it's very difficult for people to understand that. But with the T-mode, you throw it on the temple and you automatically see the layers. It even labels them for you if you press the freeze button. It's also great for lips and cheeks. Uh, so it, it's a great learning tool. I think that when you're using it on a patient, first that you care about their safety, but number two, that you can teach the patient too about the different layers and they're intrigued with that. And you can show them variations in anatomy of them versus what normally exists as well. So, and then you can show them what fillers she had before and then your fillers afterwards. Uh, that's very interesting to them. And they appreciate the extra time that you take. It doesn't take a lot of extra time, but if you have a, a few moments, particularly your well-educated patients or the, your, your long-term patients, they want to see that and they, 
They really understand that you have taken a lot of time and effort to learn, to purchase a device, and I think it just takes your practice to a different level.